عن أبي شره أنه قال لعمر بن سعيد وهو يبعث البعوث إلى مكة يأذن لي أيها الأمير وحدثك قولا قام به النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم العدى من يوم الفتح سمعته أذنايا ووعاه قلبي وأبصرته عينايا حين تكلم به حمد الله وأثنى عليه ثم قال إن مكة حرمها الله ولم يحرمها الناس فلا يحل لامرئ يؤمن بالله واليوم الآخر أن يسفك بها الدم أن يسفك بها دم ولا يغلد بها شجرة فإن أحد ترخص لقتال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فيها فقولوا إن الله قد أذن لرسوله ولم يأذن لكم وإنما أذن لي فيها ساعة من نهار ثم عادت حرمتها اليوم كحرمتها بالأمس وليبلع الشاهد الغائبة فقيل لأبي شره ما قال عن قال أنا أعلم منك يا أبا شره لا يعيض عاسيا ولا فار بدم ولا فار بخربة أن أبي شره نريت أبو شره رضي الله عنه أجيس أنه قال لأمر بن سعيد He said, that is Abu Shuraih Riyallahu Anhu said to Amr bin Sa'id, Abu Amr bin Sa'id, wa huwa ibu'athu al-bu'utha ila Makkah. He was sending troops to Makkah, to Al-Makkah, to Makkah Al-Mukarrama, to, it was, to fight with Abdullah bin Zubair. Abdullah bin Zubair took refuge in Makkah. That will... Come later. Then, inshallah. Then he said to Amr bin Sa'id. Abu Shuraih said to Amr bin Sa'id. That he is only Ayyuhal Amir. Oh, Amir. So he was the ruler or uh, the ruler or the representative of Yazid there. The then Khalifa Yazid. He is only oh, Ayyuhal Amir. Oh, Amir. You may give me permission. Give me permission. أحدثك قولا قام به النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. I will say you, I will inform you what Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said. الغدا من يوم الفتح. That is the day after يوم الفتح. The day or after the conquest of مكة. فتح مكة. سمعته أذنايا. I have heard this or my eyes heard this. My two eyes. My two ears sir ears heard this udhnaya means my two ears heard this wa wa'ahu qalbi and my heart comprehended it wa'ah means comprehend it wa abasaratuhu aynaya and my two eyes witnessed or saw this that is I have seen I have witnessed myself to the statement or to the khutbah of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he na takallama bih then he said those words then hamid Allah and before that before the statement Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam hamid Allah hamidah means praised praised Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he said alhamdulillah wa athna alayhi he said hamd alayhi thana upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then, thumma qala, then he said, that is, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, so these words, the statement of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, will come, no, then, it is the statement, what Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, after, the day, after Yawm al-Fatih, to his followers, to his companions, and Abu Shuraih, one of the famous companions or Sahaba, one of the Sahaba of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So he was the Amr bin Sa'id was sending troops to Al Madina to Al Al Makkah, Al Makkah to fight with Abdullah bin Zubair. Okay, to catch Abdullah bin Zubair. So Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "Inna Makkah haramah Allah, wa lam yuharimha al nas. Inna Makkah." Haramahullah. Suddenly, Allah has given 
Makkah, the sanctity. So Allah and not the people has made Makkah a sanctuary. Eh? So there in Makkah, Qatil or Qital eh? is not uh, is prohibited. It is not allowed at all. Eh? Makkah is a sacred place. So Allah has given the sanctity to Makkah and not the people. Allah has given the hormats to Makkah. Haramahallah. Then فَلَا يَحِلُّ لِمْرِئِنْ Imru means? Man. 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 A person. فَلَا يَحِلُّ لِمْرِئِنْ So, it will, be, it will not be allowed, it will not be permitted eh, to any person. يُؤْمِنُ بِاللَّهِ وَالْلَوْمِ الْآخِرِ Any person who believe in Allah and the Day of Judgment. يَوْمِ الْآخِرِ Day, Day of Judgment. And yes, speak of Bihad Dhamma. Dhamma means? Blood. Blood. To shed blood there. In Makkah. Eh? It is a sacred place. So, to shed blood in Makkah is totally prohibited for any person who believes in Allah and the last day. Okay. Then. وَلَا يَقْضِدَ بِهَا شَجَرَةً And to cut any trees. Eh? You should not cut any trees. There. فَإِنْ أَحَدٌ تَرَخَّصَ لِقِطَالِ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ فِيهَا Then, if any one of you, if any person say that Allah's Messenger did fight in Makkah and if anybody argues like that, eh, if anybody take it as an excuse to uh, fight in Makkah, eh, to engage in war in Makkah, then فَقُولُوا Then you should say فَقُولُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ قَدْ أَذِنَ لِرَسُولِهِ Suddenly Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala permitted war in Makkah or Qital in Makkah to his messenger who? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam وَلَمْ يَأْذَنْ لَكُمْ And he had not permitted to you. He didn't permit to permit Qital there in Makkah to you people. Only Allah permitted only to Messenger of Allah. It is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَإِنَّمَا أَذِنَ لِي And He has permitted me. That is, Allah has permitted me. Rasul says, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, فِيهَا There in Makkah. سَاعَةً مِنْ نَهَارٍ Only for a short period of time. In a day. On that day. Which day? Which day was that? Yes. يوم الفتح. يوم الفتح. On the day of Fatih. On the day of conquest of Makkah. ثم عادت حرمتها then its حرمت or its sanctity was given back اليوم today كحرمتها بالأمس as it was there before then فليبلغ الشاهد الغائبة then those who are present should inform this matter to this message to those who are absent here then فقيلة then when Abu Shuray narrated this hadith of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa to Amr bin al-Sagid who was engaging troops to Makkah to fight with Abdullah ibn Zubair then uh, to Abu, uh, Abu Shuray narrated this incident eh? then it was asked to Abu Shuray after the incident eh? Abu Shuray Ma qala Amr then at that time what did Amr say? Amr Bin Sa'id, what did he say at that time? Qala. He said, that means Amr bin Sa'id said, who reports Abu Shuray reports to the people. Ana a'ulamu minka ya Abu Shuray. Wa Abu Shuray. I have, I will, I know better than you in this matter. Actually, he didn't know better than Abu Shuray. Abu Shuray was a prophet. Abu Shuray, Abu Shuray was a Yes, sahabi. sahabi, companion of, famous Sahabi of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then, uh, this Amr bin Sa'id was neither a Sahabi nor a Tabi'i. Eh? Then, Abba Shuray, لا يعيد عاسوية ولا فار بدم ولا فار بخربة. He said, so he said mockingly, I know better than you in this respect. Oh, Abu Shuray, Makkah does not give protection to one who disobeys Allah or runs after committing murder eh, with, uh, or theft and takes refuge in Makkah. So, actually, uh, Abdullah ibn Zubair didn't do anything like this. 
this he didn't commit a murder he didn't disobey allah eh? like that eh? so uh, this amr bin sa'id is actually wanted to send troops to maka eh? then he simply mocked at abu shuhaib who narrated this this of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to him 